Hello everybody, McGregor here, and in this Nimbatus tutorial, we're going to be going over logic splitters and logic connectors. Now, the description for the logic splitter is it cuts the connection to the main part. Key events will not travel through this. So what that means is no matter what button press that I that I press, um, the anything behind the logic splitter will not be affected by that button press. So as you can see here, my input here is Q. This one is also Q. Hitting Q on my keyboard will not turn this on because it's connected to this. But the logic connector uh, reestablishes that connection. So whatever is connected to the logic connector will turn on if it has the same button press. It's, it's, I like to think of them as networks, whereas the splitters, they're all in their own little separate network bubble. Whereas the connector says, hey, you know, you're a part of our main drone core network. So let me do a test flight here, and I'm going to hit Q right now. You can see here it's on, and only the logic connectors are seeing it. Now, uh, like I said, it's these are their own self-contained little networks. So if I add in, let's add in an impulse giver right here. And let's put this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, oops, 0.5. And it was Q, I am right. And if I do test, only this one here is going to flash on this side. Ignore this side. <laughs> uh, so yeah, because they're in the same network, in the little uh, logic splitter network, it uh, it won't turn anything else on. So the, even though that this is a logic splitter, this is not turning on. If I did the same thing here, if I do a copy, paste, and connect it to this logic connector, they're gonna all flash. Actually, it just to avoid confusion there so so yeah so because this is basically the main network everything that's connected to the main network uh, is affected by this while these are local networks I guess <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking networks right now uh, this this here this little setup here just so you know this hits P this shows you that it's hitting P, and this is P here. So even though that this is one line, this is still not affected by this over here. So now they're very useful logic splitters and logic connectors. Um, I know mostly use them for automation. So um, let's say if I detect the ground or something like that, and I want my thrusters to automatically activate, I can basically use the same button presses um, as as well as my uh, upward thrust, basically. So, for example, if I do something like this, and then like this, let's go with terrain, and I say hit W, and then hit W, then this this will activate just this even though that this is the same and actually if I hit W only this will activate so if I do that test only that's activated um, but oh yes and I should also mention that uh, power and fuel are shared through this so if you're wondering about that, let me come down here. I'm gonna have you on, let's just have you on W, or Q. No, what buttons? Okay. That one is also cute. Let me have it also activated. Let's have this one pulse at a different. <laughs> I 
So yeah, as you can see, it's still it's still using this power here. So yeah, so that's basically it for this. Uh, I like I said, I use it for automation. A whole like everything that I use that's automated is basically connected to a logic splitter, like my bombs and, and all that. So they they are extremely useful. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this quick little tutorial on logic splitters and logic connectors hope you guys have learned something if you have don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos tutorials let's plays anything really gaming related <laughs> but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye